Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and ensure you never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links are waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with High Stakes. St. Louis Blues vs. Philadelphia Flyers The St. Louis Blues come into this matchup looking to bounce back from a crushing 8-1 defeat to the Ottawa Senators. In that game, Dylan Holloway managed the Blues' lone goal, while Philip Broberg and Alexander Texio each registered an assist. With Joel Hofer and Jordan Binnington splitting duties in net, the Blues struggled to contain the Senators' offense, as Hofer made only 16 saves on 21 shots and Binnington stopped 11 out of 14. This performance underscored ongoing defensive struggles as St. Louis sits 21st in goals against, averaging 3.4 per game. They also rank 29th on the penalty kill with a 70.4% success rate and are conceding 31.6 shots per contest, a troubling trend they'll need to address against Philadelphia's attack. Offensively, the Blues have had limited firepower, averaging just 2.7 goals per game, 27th in the league. Jordan Kiru leads the team with nine points, including seven assists, while Jake Neighbors and Holloway each have four goals. However, with top contributors like Thomas, Tori Krug, and Kapanen out indefinitely, depth scoring will be key. Kiru has been the primary offensive threat, leading the team in shots with 31 and is one of the few Blues with a power play assist. Unfortunately, St. Louis's power play success rate sits at a modest 16.7%, 21st in the league, which they'll need to improve against a Flyers team prone to taking penalties. The Philadelphia Flyers, fresh off a surprising 2-0 shutout win over the Boston Bruins, hope to continue their momentum. Joel Farabee and Tyson Forster found the back of the net, while goaltender Samuel Ayer's son recorded 25 saves for the shutout. Despite the Flyers' recent victory, they've struggled defensively this season ranking 28th in goals against with an average of four goals per game. Their penalty kill, however, has been a strength, ranking fourth in the league at 87.2%, which could pose a challenge for St. Louis's struggling power play. Offensively, Travis Konechny leads the way with five goals and five assists. Konechny has also been effective on the power play, tied with Matvey Michkov with three power play goals. Morgan Frost has been a strong playmaker, leading the Flyers with four power play assists. However, Philadelphia's offense is somewhat limited, ranking 23rd in goals per game, 2.8, and 30th in shots per game, 26.7. With both teams facing scoring challenges and defensive inconsistencies, this game could be tightly contested. Despite Philadelphia's recent win, their overall form remains shaky having lost seven of their last eight games before the Boston shutout. St. Louis, with a 3-3 road record, has shown they can find success away from home, and they may see this matchup as a prime opportunity to rebound. The Flyers' propensity for penalty minutes could work in St. Louis's favor, especially if they can convert on the power play, which has been a challenge thus far. Prediction. Take St. Louis on the money line. Both teams have a tendency to hit the over, and with subpar penalty killing stats and recent scoring trends, this could be a high scoring affair. Philadelphia's frequent penalty minutes could allow St. Louis to capitalize on the power play, helping them to cover the total. Prediction Over six goals Edmonton Oilers vs. Nashville Predators. In their lone meeting this season, the Edmonton Oilers defeated the Nashville Predators, showcasing their dominance over them historically. The Oilers have been successful against Nashville boasting an impressive 8-1-1 record in their last 10 encounters. During this stretch, Edmonton has averaged a whopping 4.40 goals per game, while Nashville has struggled to keep up, averaging only 2.40 goals per game. This trend paints a clear picture of Edmonton's offensive prowess in this matchup. However, it's worth noting that both teams are currently facing significant offensive struggles this season. Nashville has been particularly inefficient, scoring three or fewer goals in seven of their first nine games, which has them ranked 28th in the league for goals per game. This lack of scoring has hindered their ability to compete effectively. On the other hand, the Oilers have also been struggling to find the back of the net lately. They have managed to score two or fewer goals in six of their last 10 games and rank last in the league in goals per game. 
The absence of Connor McDavid, who is expected to be sidelined for two to three weeks due to an ankle injury, adds another layer of concern for Edmonton's offensive production. McDavid's scoring ability is irreplaceable, and his injury could further exacerbate their struggles. Given the current form of both teams, this matchup is likely to be a low-scoring affair. With Nashville's lackluster offensive output and Edmonton's recent scoring woes, the expectation is for both teams to continue struggling to generate goals. Predictions. Take Edmonton on the money line. While both teams have their issues, Edmonton's historical performance against Nashville gives them the edge, even with McDavid sidelined. Take the under. Six goals. The offensive inefficiencies on both sides make it unlikely that this game will see a high score, leading to a strong possibility that the total will remain below six goals. Chicago Blackhawks versus San Jose Sharks. The Chicago Blackhawks are in the early phases of a significant rebuild, and while they've added veterans to support the promising talent of Connor Bedard, their performance has been lackluster, with only three victories in their first 10 games. Their goaltending duo has been solid, posting a 3.30 GAA and a .899 save percentage, keeping them competitive in most matches. However, the lack of offensive production has left them struggling to convert games into wins. On the flip side, the San Jose Sharks come into this matchup with a bit of momentum, having secured their only two victories of the season in their last two outings. Despite this recent success, the Sharks have not historically performed well against the Blackhawks, with Chicago boasting a 7-3 record in their last 10 meetings. This includes five straight wins dating back to February 2023, with three of those games needing overtime to decide the victor. Chicago's familiarity with success in this rivalry, combined with their improved goaltending, could give them the upper hand. Predictions. Chicago Blackhawks to win. Despite their struggles, the Blackhawks have a track record of beating the Sharks and are riding a wave of positive momentum from their recent games. Their goaltending has been sufficient to keep them in contention, and the historical head-to-head -head advantage can boost their confidence. Expect the over on 6.5 goals. Both teams have shown a tendency to hit the over in recent encounters, with the over hitting at a rate of 6-3-1 in their last 10 matchups. The Blackhawks have averaged three goals allowed per game in their six road contests this season, while the Sharks have allowed over 4.5 goals per game this year. With both teams featuring young talent capable of producing offensive fireworks, a high-scoring game seems likely. In summary, this matchup looks to be a competitive one with offensive sparks flying, leading to a prediction of over 6.5 goals.